Hello and welcome to another channel video. Today I'm recording the review of this LCR P1 component tester and I noticed that we need to do an upgrade of the firmware. So I decided not to make the video too long to do a small and short video to show you how that is done. The first thing that we need to do, let me open here my browser, is to go to fnixi.com, the new fnixi website, and select here the download section. On the download section, you drill down until you come to this section that says transistor tester and you select this option LCR P1 firmware you have here below the link let's click it and this will give you a file to save I have already mine here so I will not save it but basically what this file gives you is a URL that you can copy and open on your browser I have already that operation made let's see what we have in here okay so it gives access to the Mediafire website and you just press here in this blue box to download the firmware. Okay. Also, I already have it, but you can do this operation. After the firmware is downloaded, you will have a RAR file that you should unzip it to a folder like this one that I have here. In that folder, you will have two subfolders firmware and upgrade procedure just go to upgrade procedure let's open it and we have here the boot tool if you open this tool and it it doesn't run just go to drivers and install the sh341 ser driver and after the windows desktop runtime after installing these two files you should be able to open the boot tool okay it will give you this warning since it was not signed when it was compiled so let's ignore it for now okay and what you have here is the application you can see that right now we just have com1 so now i will connect the cable to the lcrp1 okay and now just press Zener and then test. You should have this weird window that says update. And now we have here a new COM port. Let's select this one. Okay. And we will go and search where the bin is. So now you just need to locate on this dialog the zip folder that you uncompressed before. Okay. Firmware subfolder and select the file. Now we have the port, we have the file and we just need to do update. Okay. It's updating. As you can see now says version 1.5. Let me and reboot it. I will now disconnect this. No longer need it. Let's see. Okay. Now it's off on 1.05. So it is uploaded. I hope that this video was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to visit the links on the screen for your purchases on AliExpress and the and Amazon to support the channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.